All right, here we are back again. Um, if you didn't check out the other two videos, we have an uh, overview of iPhoto and importing of iPhoto. Uh, this one is going to be about organization um, and the various different ways to organize, how they're organized, how iPhoto thinks, how we think, and uh, sometimes what we think we want iPhoto to do versus what iPhoto actually does. Um, so we're picking up right where we left off before with the, the other photos. You'll notice we have all these different events here uh, in our library. And again, each event is treated like a bucket of photographs. And it's up to us to, to decide what goes in that bucket. And you'll notice that out of the events here, remember when I skim over, it shows uh, multiple photographs because we can have one picture inside an event or we could have a thousand pictures inside an event. Um, an event is purely just a way to group pictures together. Now for the pictures that I have here, you notice there's some kind of random ones. You know, we have this one with Bennett and Buster and, and just Bennett and another one of him and another one of him. And But then we have uh, my cousins here, or my niece and nephews. Um, we have more photographs here of Halloween, so these two really in the grand scheme of things should be together. Uh, then we have more Bennett pictures of him and the leaves, and then we have kind of winter Christmas um, snow pictures of Bennett. So naturally, to me, this is a mess, and it could be simplified in, in really probably three different events. Um, so let's take a peek on, on how that works. Um, now actually, let me take a step back. Uh, events is your groupings, little buckets. If we click on photos, photos is just a way, it's really showing you the same exact thing we are just looking at, but it's showing you all the events open at the same time. And this can be very overwhelming, especially if you have thousands and thousands of photos, and if you don't have things organized. You know, untitled event, that means nothing to us. Untitled event, uh, you know, I don't know what happened on December 8th or December 9th. So as great as the dates are, sometimes we don't remember what happened that particular date. So just remember that events and photos, really, they are the same exact thing. If I delete a picture out of, a, out of an event, it's deleting it out of photos. If I delete it out of photos, it's deleting it out of events. So these two really are the same. They're just grouped their their different views of them. So let's go ahead and start consolidating this, make this a little bit easier. Um, we'll just start with the leaf pictures. Now I have 15 pictures in this Bennett in the leaves event and then I have a few more here and this one was that duplicate. So I'm actually gonna start by getting rid of the duplicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the event and that opens the event. So now I can see what's inside of there. And when I do that, if I double click on the picture again, it gets larger. If I double click yet a, uh, once more, it goes back to it's, it's the thumbnail size. Now you'll notice in the top left of the photo and in the bottom right, as soon as I move my cursor on and off, these little buttons or these little uh, flag and this little circle button appears. This happens on every single photograph. If I go back to all events, and go into double click on this untitled event, you'll notice the little flag appears on every single photograph. And this is where we could flag a photograph or click on the bottom right and this allows us to do various things as well. And so I'm gonna go back to this duplicate picture, double click, and I'm gonna click on the little bottom right hand circle and say move this to the trash and it's gonna say hey are you sure you want to delete this and I will say yes delete this photo now remember that picture did not go to my trash can down on the dock it went to the trash can that's actually in iPhoto here so this picture remains here until we take out the trash until we empty the trash so it doesn't empty on its own we have to do that but I'll leave it in there for now we'll come back to it I'm gonna go back to events and now we have one less event. Now these two here I need to consolidate and there's multiple ways on how we can merge events. So I'm going to start by the easiest which is going to be dragging and dropping. I want this event to go into the Bennett in the leaves. So all I'm going to do is click and hold 
and I'm going to drag this event right on top of this other one. Notice the little green circle with the plus sign. It doesn't have to be exact. I don't have to match it up perfectly. As long as my cursor is on there, I could put it up here as soon as I go off of it. It's, so it's really the cursor, not necessarily the shadow of the image. As soon as I get that little green circle with the plus sign, I can let go. And iPhoto is going to say, hey, do you want to merge these events? And we say, yes, absolutely we do. So I click on merge, and now I have one event of Bennett and the leaves. I'm going to combine the photographs here right next door that are kind of snow themed. We have the Christmas lights, Santa hat, we have the snow outside. Now, I could drag and drop. I could bring this on top of there and merge it, but I'm going to show you yet another way to do it. I'm going to select both events, and by doing that, I click on the first one, hold down Command on the keyboard, click on the second one. Now they're both selected in yellow. If I go up to our menu bar, to Events, I can now choose Merge Events, and that's the same thing as dragging and dropping. So when I click on Merge Events, it's going to say, hey, do you want to merge these events? We say yes, so now they're there. But this event, notice, it doesn't have a nice neat title like Bennett and the Leaves does. So here I'm going to put a title. So as soon as I move my cursor on top of here, I click on the text Untitled Event. And now I can say, uh, we'll just call it Winter Picks, or uh, Winter, yeah, Picks with Bennett. And then click anywhere. I could press return on the keyboard. I can click anywhere off of this photo and it's going to save that name. There's no save button. There's no apply button. As soon as I type in and click off of it, it saves it. Now I find that dragging is a little bit easier. So again, I'm going to take this, click and hold, drag uh, Maddie and Layton. That's their names. They're my nieces and nephew. I'm going to go ahead and drag that on top of here, do merge and I'm going to relabel this one and call it Halloween. Click off of it. And now these other ones, so this is where you have to use your best judgment. You know, these winter picks make sense. It's Christmas, winter, snow, all the leaves make sense. But every now and then you're gonna have a photograph, a photograph that you're not, not quite sure to, you don't really know where to put it. You know, none of these pictures I guess pirates could go with the Halloween, but that was uh, not necessarily his Halloween costume. So it's okay to group a, a bunch of pictures together and maybe just put it in a, an event called random or uh, miscellaneous, whatever you want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here because I'm not quite sure where I want these, but I know that having one picture inside of one event, that's a lot of... Uh, screen space and I don't want it to take up four different events where I could combine all of these and just put them in a random event. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select three and then drag those three on top of this one and that's a really quick easy way for me to merge all four events together and I'm just going to simply call these uh, Silly Bennett. And now we are left with four nice, neat events that are nicely labeled, so on and so forth.